Okay, um, I used to do a lot of book reviews. In fact, that's one of the things I used to do for um, when I did a lot of freelance writing, I did book reviews. And I've never done them on YouTube, so I thought we'd start. Because let's face it, this channel schedule has gone to hell anyway. So we're just going to do what we want. And this week, for my first ever one, I've been reading the, the Secrets of Crinkly Hall by James Herbert. Now, this isn't a particularly new book, but... I was at a, this is actually from a second-hand book fair store, um, and I saw it, and I haven't actually read a lot of James Herbert, not since I read once, years ago, um, and this was absolutely great, it was a very good read, generally, um, but I mean, it's, it's James Herbert, I, lo I am a big fan of James Herbert's writing, it has to be said, despite me not having read him much, um, I really like this. It's really easy to read. It's it is very dark, um, more so than the run I would want actually. Um, it is your classic sort of haunted house scenario. New family moves into drafty old house, and things start to go horribly, horribly wrong. Is <laughs> basically the summary of this book. Um, what I loved about it was the focus on some of the characters who in a lot of other novels would be kind of side notes um in this they're really sort of they're explored a lot more than you get with with some sort of like not main characters in other books and i really like that um especially percy the groundskeeper like the, the little caretaker he's probably my favorite character in the whole book um so obviously the, the as you can imagine it's very typical haunted house book it follows the the story and the experiences of the of the new family the callies who've just moved in um they themselves are going through sort of a period of personal crisis um following the loss of a child um a year or so before the book is set now on that note, the one thing I would say with this book is if you have any sensitivities towards anything around sort of um, details of child abuse or violence towards children, you may want to be careful reading this. You may want to exercise a little bit of caution um, because it, it it does deal with those subjects and it can be... I, like, as a reader who doesn't have particular personal sort of experiences in that area it's a difficult read it's an uncomfortable read I mean it's supposed to be that's the the point of it but obviously if you have any sensitivities in those areas please be mindful of that um but if you don't don't let that put you off because it is such a good book and it deals with it so well it deals with um different types of grief what grief can do to people um which is really the underlying theme here, I thought, when I read this book. It, it's more about... Obviously, it's scary. It, it's a scary book. It's cool. I like scary books. But it, it, it's really interesting, the impact that grief and loss can have on people. And that was really covered well through this book. Um, it's really hard for me to find a bad point in this book because I really liked it. The only thing that I would say is... Although I love the fact that some of the side characters were explored in great detail, between chapters sort of like 61 to 64, you get so much backstory on one particular character. And it's at such a crucial point in the book, you're like, I don't care. I don't care what his motivation was. I don't care what happened to him in the past. I just, just get back to the, the action, the story. I want to know what's going to happen. So that is the one sort of bit that I would say is a little bit of a downside, but that's being quite fussy to be honest um the other thing i liked about this book my, i said my favorite character was the groundskeeper the little sort of um caretaker percy but there's <laughs> there's a character in this called lily peel and you know when you read like the introduction to a character in the book and they kind of set it up to try and give you an overview of if who that person is within the first sort of meeting of them I'm reading the book and I'm like, is this me? Because there's a character in it called Lily Peel and I'm reading it going, I'm sure I've never met James Herbert. <laughs> but I, I like that. That was fun. Um, and yeah, a genuinely really good book. Like I say, if you've got any issues with things like um, violence towards children, 
particular sensitivities then be mindful of that but otherwise if you're looking for sort of like a really good i mean it's a chunky book this is obviously big print but you know it's still a decent sized novel um if you're looking for sort of like an a really classic easy to read horror then this is you know you can't really go past this and it's so hard for you know the classic haunted house novel has been done and done and done and done again and done some more so it's really hard to kind of make it exciting and different and um put thread other stories through it and themes through it to keep you engaged but this it, it really has got so many different things like i said there's the big sort of focus and sort of study of grief and loss there's sort of love stories written through it there's um psychological um sort of mind games between characters written into it it's a really really clever um very interesting book for what can be a very very cliched type of of story and genre so and i think someone told me as well there's a there's like a a BBC dramatization of it or it might be an ITV but there's apparently there's a TV series which I kind of want to watch but given how creepy the book was if I watch that I may never sleep again so I may just stay with the book <laughs> so um definitely recommend it um if you would like to get a copy of this I will put a link to where you can buy one directly in the comments and I will see you next book next book it will be the next book, but it will also be next week. And I think it will be a newer title. Not a... It's sort of a newer released title. Bye! <laughs>